Have you ever wondered how the wine that you drink in the wine bottle gets bottled <laughs> from the barrel into the bottle? We are at Four Tails Vineyard in Southern Arizona today, and we're going to help them bottle. We're volunteering our time, and we're going to check out the process, and we're going to show you what it takes to get that wine into the barrel. Wait, into the bottle. From the barrel. Into the bottle from the from the barrel. <laughs> we have no idea, so we'll find out. Let's go. Were you laying in the puddles? Yeah, you were laying in the puddles. The whole process starts with getting the wine out to our assembly line. And to do that, they use these giant hoses that run from the barrels out to the assembly line. The wine just runs right through the hoses to our spigots. The wine bottles get argon gas blown into them to remove the air from the inside of the glass, and then they are set up for the wine spigots here. They move on to the cork station where the corks are put into the bottles after the wine is put in. And these black plastic wraps are put around the bottle and then they are adhered to the bottle in this station where it is sent to the labeling station next. And sometimes the equipment was a little bit finicky so we had to play with it here and there. Um, but for the most part it worked well. And there is equipment that'll do all of this automatically. You just put the wine bottle in on one side and you have a completed process out the other side. It will fill, it will cork, it will label, it'll do everything on its own, but those machines are fairly expensive. So the smaller wineries use a process very similar to this one. We're going back tomorrow for a second day of bottling. We volunteered to bring some potato salad to make it kind of like a, well, you gotta eat. You gotta eat, so. Well, today was the official bottling for Four Tails. Tomorrow is bottling for our friend Gary, which is greater than wine, and our new friend Jules, who I don't actually know what her vineyard's gonna be called, but she opens this year. This is her first. Her tasting room opens in a couple of months, yeah. I think. So that's exciting, that's exciting. And it's nice to be in the position that we are in because we don't work for money. We work for food and also wine. So that worked out, that worked out beautifully. So what did you think? It was fun. Is it tiring a little bit? Well, you're just on your feet for quite a while, but uh, it was fun. And it really, we're starting to see the whole process or at least portion of the whole process of what goes into making wine and it makes me appreciate every bottle that we buy and open that much more because so many people have to take care of the plant the vines take care of the vines harvest the fruit which we might be doing next weekend yeah every bottle of wine is so much more i don't know resource intensive than I than I ever imagined. And like I said, we're just seeing a small portion because before we got there, Gary and the crew and the winemakers there, like they had already done all this filtration and moving stuff from barrels into bins and like all this other stuff that we didn't even see or help with. So it's a process. It is it is yeah. Hold on. Yeah, it is it is definitely a process. And I um it we probably got through 200 cases 
I'd or say. so today. Yeah. And it took probably six hours, something like that. Something like that. With seven or eight people. Yeah. So it's and a, that's, it's a it's a production. That's bottling, putting the wine into the bottles, corking, wrapping with the foil and labeling, and then putting them back into the cases so that they're ready to sit and be good to sell in a little while because you can't right. sell them and drink them. Well, I guess you could, but you're not supposed to really drink them immediately because they need to settle and adjust to their new location in the bottle. So, yeah. It was fun, though. And I'm looking forward to doing it again tomorrow and trying our friends' wines. So. That's right. That's right. But the next exciting thing you will probably see, besides exciting stuff around the homestead, which we might be doing, is harvesting. I think we're going to go and help harvest starting next week. So. Oh, man, all this free labor. I know. Well, free... We get... We get... Co we get compensated in things that are not cash. Yeah, I was going to say, we get free wine. So, <laughs> we work for our wine. WWFW. We'll work for wine. Okay, that's it. I'm getting weird because I'm tired. So, we will see, we you, will next see you in the next video. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>